Good morning. Hi. I'm Leslie Benson with Departure Media Airport Advertising. I wanted to thank everybody for coming today. We are going to unveil two exhibits, um, the Brook Green Gardens exhibit here behind me and then Jack Thompson's photography, photography exhibit on the welcome socket to my right. Departure Media not only manages the advertising program here in Myrtle Beach, but also has six airports in the southeast, and we're happy to be part of the Myrtle Beach Airport project and its community. The um, few people I'd like to recognize in the audience today are um, Council Chairwoman Liz Gillen, Airport Director Bob Kemp, Jack Thompson's on his way, <laughs> somewhere, Helen, Benzo, Bob Jewell with Brook Green Gardens, Dee Dee Clark with Departure Media Airport Advertising. Thank you for coming. And I believe Sherry Crawford, is she? She's, hey, there you are. And Sherry Crawford with the Classic Golf Group. Thank you. Being from Myrtle Beach, I understand how unique the culture and lifestyles of this community in the Grand Strand area are. And it's very important for us in an airport environment to bring the community into into the airport, and we've been successful doing that with Brooklyn Gardens and Jack Thompson. A lot of people worked a long time, a couple of years, on these projects, so I'd like to thank them right now. The airport, of course, if Bob <laughs> hadn't approved us doing this, we wouldn't be standing here today. Say so thank you, Bob. Uh, Brooke Green Gardens, Jack Thompson with Jack Thompson Photography, Sherry with Classic Golf Group, Environmental Concepts, Architectural Stone Concepts, Case Solutions, Dandelion Limited, and Starwood of Myrtle Beach. Like again, thank everybody for their help. And Dee Dee Clark also um, worked very, very uh, for a very long time with Helen on the Brook Green Gardens project. Bob, I'd like to ask you now to come up and say your speech. Thank you very much, Leslie. On behalf of the uh, Myrtle Beach International Airport, frankly, on behalf of all of the staff here as well as as all of the employees here. I'd like to thank you very much, Brooke Green and, and Jack Thompson, for allowing these uh, pieces of art uh, to be installed in the terminal building. A dramatic improvement in the quality and, and the ambiance in the terminal building, and we who have to work here all the time very much appreciate it, and I can tell you from the reactions that we've watched of the uh, passengers coming through here, they very much appreciate it. Leslie, I want to thank you for for the foresight and, and the work that you put into doing this. We've been working, as you noted, for years trying to get artwork in our terminal buildings. It's very, very difficult to do that in public buildings. And Departure Media, I want to recognize their efforts for uh, putting together the program that has brought this together, uh, frankly, at virtually no cost to the uh, county or to the, to the airport, brought in such high quality artwork. Uh, it's, it's impressive and uh, you're to be congratulated for it. With that, I'd just like to uh, take now the opportunity to introduce to you our boss. All right, uh, Ms. Gillen is the chairman of the airport, or of the uh, Horry County Council. She oversees everything we do and she's in charge. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Liz Gillen. It is my pleasure to be here. You know, I, I love this county. I'm, I'm a native of Worry County. I love the Grand Strand. And if there are two iconic symbols of the Grand Strand area, it's Brook Green Gardens and Jack Thompson. Where is Jack? Is he here yet? He's really caught in all that traffic. Um, so it is a pleasure today to be highlighting both of those. My parents were Brook Green Garden supporters for years, and I'll never forget about 10 years ago, I came into the house one day, and something came in the mail from Brook Green Gardens, and my mom started nudging my father. It was so funny, she was going, Brook Green, Brook Green Gardens. And I said, what are you doing, Mom? And finally, my father had to come out with the surprise that he had done. He had put my sister and myself up for um, lifetime memberships to Brook Green Gardens, and we were so excited, um, and they were too. That was supposed to be a Christmas present, but it was, my mom couldn't wait. She's, she was like a kid. Um, I, I love Brook Green Gardens. Anyone who's ever been there loves Brook Green Gardens. And to have a piece of the gardens right here is just perfect for the county. Uh, it's even more perfect for the visitors because like Bob said, this is the most unpleasant part of the terminal. And if you're running late like I usually am when I'm trying to catch a flight, it, your anxiety level is huge. 
and this is a calming spot and will always be. Hopefully also it will remind people coming through here that if they haven't been to Brook Green lately, they need to go to Brook Green Gardens and enjoy all that it has to offer, whether it's the living animals or the sculptured animals. Uh, but the 9,000 acres that are there are just phenomenal and they are a treasure for the Grand Strand area. It's the world's um, largest outdoor sculpture garden of American sculpture, as it should be of American sculpture, but I've been all over the world bragging about Brook Green Gardens whenever I talk about the Grand Strand. Jack Thompson is our own uh, homegrown hero, and to have his artwork here, and as folks are coming in from their flights, you can't help but look up and see the picture up there with the, the, the tree and the and the moon, uh, resembling our state flag, of course. And it is a delight to be able to feature both Brook Green Gardens and Jack Thompson's photography in our airport. As we grow, whenever and wherever we put an expansion of this facility, we will continue, hopefully, to have a partnership with Brook Green Gardens and feature them and have them add to our airport facility as we hopefully add to their um, visitors uh, in, the, in numbers over the years. And the same with Jack Thompson. The more Jack takes pictures, the more we'll put his pictures up and let folks know what an incredible eye he has for the beauty, uh, the personalities, even the quirks of the Myrtle Beach area. He has chronicled the growth of the Myrtle Beach region in a way that no other photographer has, and we appreciate him. Thank you all for coming uh, and for being a part of this summit. Um, if you have any questions or would like one-on-one -on -one interviews, we'd be happy to meet with you after the photo opportunity.